Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. What's one of the best parts of going to McDonald's as a kid? You got a toy with your food. That's like getting an iPhone 10 that has a headphone jack. You're just dreaming. But there have been some disturbing Happy Meal toys throughout the years. So I'm counting down the top 10 scariest Happy Meal toys of all time. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And as always, let's get into it. Number 10. Sky dancers. Little plastic princesses with wings that you could throw into the air and they would come down, twirling down to the ground nicely. If by nicely you mean a cold slap in the face, sky dancers were a Happy Meal toy that sent girls bananas in the 90s. The way the toy was supposed to work is you throw it up in the air and it spins down to the ground in a graceful fashion. But the plastic they used to make it was too hard, and the flight path was unpredictable, so it would end up backhanding you in the cheek with the velocity of a helicopter. It turned from a cute doll that was supposed to simulate a dancing princess to a weapon that siblings would use to throw over your sibling's head and catch them off guard unexpectedly with a sneak attack. Number 9. Farm Animal Glove choking hazard. The concept of the glove isn't that scary. It was a glove that kids could wear while they ate chicken nuggets, this way their hands didn't get greasy. Each finger of the glove had a different barnyard animal on it. That part is kind of creepy. You literally have a chicken watching you eat chicken nuggets that used to be his relatives. He'd be like, for the love of God, please kill me, no chicken deserves this. But it got much worse than that. Parents started complaining because the little felt fingers that had the barnyard animals on them would rip off as kids were eating and some kids were choking on the Farmville mascots. I guess that's how the little chicken finger got his revenge. Number 8. Mini Furbies If you were alive in the 90s, you remember Furby fever that washed over everyone. They were little half bird, half reptile, fuzzy wuzzy cootsy wootsy toys. They were cute in the way that like clowns are cute. McDonald's tried to cash in on those bad boys by making mini versions. The main selling feature for Furbies was that you could teach them to say things, like anything. You could teach them to say I love you or hail Satan. The McDonald's versions didn't have the feature where you could teach them words, but they would talk at random. So you could be walking through your kitchen late at night and then out of nowhere you hear be my friend, creep out of the darkness. Number 7. Swearing Minions We follow up number 8 with another sweeping trend, the Minions. In 2015, McDonald's teamed up with the little yellow movie stars to give people what they wanted. I always hated that as a kid. My parents would take me to McDonald's and get me a Happy Meal and I would get like the Happy Meal version of a toy instead of going to the toy store. Looking back on it, I was just a spoiled brat and I should have just been more grateful. Now, the Minions speak a language called Minionese and these toys had a function where if you pressed on them, they would talk. They were supposed to speak Minionese, which is just gibberish. But parents started complaining that they would swear. I would not be surprised if someone programmed swear words into these things as a prank. This is just like the IKEA catalog thing all over again. If you don't remember this, back in the day, there was a graphic designer who worked for IKEA. He got laid off and on his last day, he photoshopped a dick onto a dog that was on the cover of the IKEA catalog. Oh, it was genius. Number six, American Idol toys. What says I'm a kid who loves to have fun like playing with some American Idol themed toys? including famous American Idol characters like clapper hands and a microphone. Best of all, it had a fake mp3 player which only had one song on it. Was it a hit from a famous American Idol winner? No! It would just play the American Idol theme song over and over again. Some sort of twisted torture to remind kids that if you watch too much American Idol, you might never stop. This toy isn't super scary, it just sucks. What a pile of trash. What kid in their right mind gets excited about game show themed toys? Save that for the retirement home. Number 5. Jellyfish Willy Usually when you're making a toy for kids, the last thing you want is it to be shaped like a penis. Well, when the movie Finding Nemo came out, someone at the McDonald's toy factory tried to make a jellyfish and ended up making something that looks like someone's dong. There is so much wrong with this one. Not only does it have a strong phallic presence, but they put a face on it. And the face looks like a guy who just hit too many bongs. This jelly wiener looks like he ate the wrong plate of cookies and now he's getting hit with a wave of THC that could bring down an elephant. 
I feel like this dude needs to be on a t-shirt or an episode of Rick and Morty or something like that. Needless to say, when kids would pull this toy out of their paper McDonald's bag, their parents would quickly snatch it away. There were endless complaints about this clear oversight and it wasn't long before the toy was quickly removed from each location. Next time you want to make dick shaped toys, save them for grown ups. Number 4. Plastic Bag Puppet What do kids love? Clowns? No. Puppets? After the Revenge of Pinocchio? No. Plastic bags? Well I don't know if they love them, but I know you're not supposed to leave little kids alone with a bunch of plastic bags. So why not put them all together? A few things that kids don't like all in one and it could potentially kill them. One of the first McDonald's Happy Meal toys ever was a plastic bag with Ronald McDonald's face on it and it was supposed to act like a puppet. It just ended up being a horrifying choking hazard for kids. Back then, people didn't know that one of the number one things kids try to do is find new and interesting ways to kill themselves. It also doesn't seem like McDonald's was big on the environment back then. They'd give you all your food in a paper bag, but they thought, huh, how can we find a way to put a plastic bag in the paper bag? On top of this all, it's just cheap and lazy. It seems like the only one you could get was a puppet of Ronald McDonald. You couldn't even get like a set of puppets and put on a McDonald's themed puppet musical where Hamburglar is just a misunderstood misfit trying to find his place in the world. No one steal that, I'm taking that to Broadway. Number 3. Swastika Tattoos So one line of McDonald's toys in Sweden was temporary tattoos. The design of the tattoos were made by a Chinese company that I guess never read a history book because they came out with a pattern that looks very close to a swastika. Even worse, employees at the McDonald's weren't checking them before they were putting them in the bags. And many parents didn't realize that the tattoos were shaped like Nazi logos until they were firmly glued to their kids skin. How does this slip past so many levels of people? First you have the company making the product, and then you have McDonald's giving the ok on the product, then employees putting it in the bag, then parents didn't check, and finally a kid who should stop watching cartoons and turn on the history channel, jeez. It wasn't long before the temporary tattoos were discontinued and McDonald's gave out a giant statement about how they were sorry and they did not affiliate with Nazis. Number 2. Madame Alexander Dolls Have you ever seen a Madame Alexander doll? Well they look very lifelike. Well they look very lifelike and not in a good way. Think of a creepy wannabe marionette that has those eyes that seem like they're always watching you. Well McDonald's teamed up with the queen of creepy dolls to come out with an entire line of distressing looking dolls. Most of which were just a regular level of creepy, but one reached a new level of unsettling. The Wizard of Oz flying monkey doll. It looks like they took an orphan boy and spliced him together with whatever DNA is left after a zoo burns down. He's got fur coming out of everywhere, blue skin like the Will Smith genie and creepy monkey hands and feet. His only redeeming qualities are that super fly vest and for whatever reason his eyebrows are perfectly on point. Can we just make a rule to stop making dolls? Nobody likes them. We've moved on in society. We don't need little creepy humanettes sitting around reminding us that the devil is real. And our number one is heating up. Back in 2016, McDonald's wanted to change their unhealthy image by giving kids a little fitness tracker watch as their Happy Meal toy. This sucks for so many reasons. One, a fitness tracker is not a toy and any kid who gets one would be cheesed with the impression that it is a toy. Two, if you want to change your unhealthy image McDonald's, why not start with making your food healthier? And three, the fitness trackers were so poorly designed they started burning the skin of every kid who wore them. One mother went on record saying that it left a burn on her kid's skin after only 8 minutes. I bet this was all a McDonald's plot to give a younger generation a Pavlovian response between healthy living and pain. It's so funny to me that the one time McDonald's tries to promote healthy living they end up giving third degree burns to kids. Well, that's our list. Let us know in the comments what's the worst toy you've ever received. Like always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been Shade Arena, and try not to choke on any Lego.